What's up guys? Well, welcome to another video. Happy Monday. Today, we are doing another All Rides videos because we love All Rides videos on this channel. And, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got three notifications <laughs> for YouTube. Okay. So we're doing Santa Cruz Pier today. After this All Rides video, we have one more for California. We have two for Oregon. And then we're up in Washington. So, yeah. So we're, we're going to start off with their thrill rides. Now we have the roller coaster, or their big roller coaster, and that is the Giant Dipper. It's a classic wooden roller coaster that opened in, in, in the early 1900s. And it's been sitting in this place since the early 1900s. Of course, they've done retracking on it and stuff, but that's that. Next up, you have a classic, a carnival classic, and guess what that is? That is Cliffhanger, the flying kite style ride. Enjoy the smooth sensation of hang gliding as you soar past the beach and over the boardwalk on this Right. Next up, we have Crazy Surf, which is one of those I forget. I don't know the ride type, but it has like two arms and and it goes really fast. Catch a wave without getting wet. The all-new Crazy Surf takes riders on the super swell of fun and excitement. Next up, we have another carnival classic, and that is Cyclone. This is uh, your typical roundup style ride. Experience central field of force equal to three times the force of gravity as you spin at maximum speed. Then you have the double shot. This is an SNS shot tower. A thrilling 125 foot tower ride with an awesome ocean view. You can keep your eyes open. Then you have fireball. This is your typical Fireball ride you'll find at a carnival or freak out style ride. Thrilling disorderation at its finest. Fireball's powerful G forces swing its spin riders to dizzying heights, making this one of the most popular rides on the boardwalk. And then you have Rocco Plane. This is your typical Rocco Plane style ride. As you can see, that's what a rocket plane looks like. You don't know what it looks like. To find gravity and control the upside down spin of this Ferris wheel with cages. And then you have Shockwave. This is a Zamperla Disco. Take a spin on Shockwave, the boardwalk's wild new ride that sends you rocking and reeling on. Crazy spinning wave of fun. Then next up you have Typhoon. Expect a storm of adrenaline. Adrenaline. When Typhoon launches you six stories above the boardwalk for some serious upside down thrills. And I forget the type of this ride, but that's what it looks like. And then you have a parks. We have another roller coaster. That is Undertow. This is a spinning roller coaster. Buckle up for some unexpected thrills on the only spinning coaster in Northern California. Undertow's crazy turns and sudden drops will push you to the edge and back. And we have our last thrill ride, and that is Wipeout. 
get thrashed as you tumble through the darkness to the sound of a pump surf tunes rap style. This is like one of those break dance rides, as you can see. Now we have family rides. First up, we have Wave Rider. Take a slide down our newest attraction, choose from three different colored lanes, and enjoy the ocean view on the way down. And this is your typical fun slide. Then you have twirling teacups. Take a twirl in a colorful teacup and spin your cup around for dizzy and fun thrill ride. You guys all know what when they say teacup what type of ride it is. And then you have the loof carousel. A national historic landmark and local treasure. This hand carved merry-go-round has been turning children, children's seaside dreams into golden memories since 1911. Next up, you have Cave Train. This looks like a, a roller coaster slash dark ride, possibly. I don't know. A boardwalk favorite, the nostalgic Cave Train travels under the boardwalk and features its original 1961 cast of characters, families, and love in this glow in the dark train ride for generations. And then you have Free Fall. Great training for bigger thrills. Free fall sprint springs riders up and drops them down for a really good time. It's your typical mini kitty frog hopper style ride, but it's not frog hopper. Then you have another dark ride. That is Ghost Blasters. Test your aim at complete against runs as you blast pesky goals on this fun trip under the boardwalk. And then you have another dark ride, Holy Dark Rides, Haunted Castle. Get ready for a spooky adventure as you spiral down into the dark dungeon deep below the boardwalk. And then we have an interactive ride where you pull yourself up, and that is Lighthouse Liftoff. Can you make it to the top of the lighthouse? Test your strength and endurance as you race to the top of this Sky High family attraction. And then we have the parts Lock Flume, Walker's Revenge. Enjoy a par paranormal ocean view from high above the park as you float around in a watery trap. Keep your eyes open for the final drop and expect to get wet. Then you have Riptide, which is a tilt to whirl. Laughing makes the spinning Riptide twirl faster just going with it. This is one Riptide worth, worth experiencing. Then you have rock and roll. This is your typical rock rock and roll style ride. Rock out to the classic tunes and roll side to side on the spinning rock and roll ride. Colorful cruisers make for a groove and drive forward and backwards. Sea Serpent, which is a kiddie roller coaster. Take a friendly ride on a green sea monster as family coaster in disguise it's perfect first it's it's a perfect first roller coaster for younger kids sorry guys i'm checking how many rides we have left and then we have the sea swings whatever your age you'll feel this is your typical way to work i'm not gonna read them now since this video is getting pretty long i'll read them if i feel like i want it then you have the Sky Glider, which is your typical sky bucket rides or sky sky ride or whatever you want to call it. Then you have Speed Race. Bump your way through outer space on this out of this world bumper car. Then you have Speed Bumps, which is our normal bumper cars. Then you have Tornado, which is your typical tornado style ride like that. Then you have Tsunami, which is your Himalaya style ride. With bright lights and sizzling sounds, the tsunami is rumbling, swirling, voyage circling, full speed ahead, then full speed backward. Now come up soon. Now we have our kitty rides. We have the beach swing, which is your typical happy swing ride. 
Bounce and Buggies, which is your typical monster truck ride that goes boom, bounce, bounce, like that. Then you have Bluegie the Whale, which is a slow whale style ride. You need to just ride in a small rail whale made out of metal. Then you have Convoy, which is a typical Convoy truck ride. Drive your only... Drive your very own tractor truck. A great ride for the younger children and parents to enjoy it together. Then you have the jet copters, which is a helicopter ride. Then you have the kitty cruisers, which is a car, tiny car ride. Then you have sea dragons. Fly on the back of a magical dragon and survey the kingdom below. Parents can ride too. Then you have speedboats. Make a splash as captain. Oh, a sun little boat ringing a bell for fun. Then you have Speedway, which is a typical whip car style ride. That is all the rides at Santa Cruz Pier. It is a pretty big pier, as you can see. Um, We'll be doing Santa Monica Pier next week on Monday, I believe. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.